Thank you. I'm, the next speakers I have are Philip Drum, Kyle Suggs, Donovan Rogers. Give your name and address, please. Uh, hi, my name is Philip Drum. I live at 802 South Chapman Street. I'm the founder and current president of the UNCG Atheists, Agnostics, and Skeptics. I come to speak to you tonight because I believe that the mayor has taken steps towards excluding a valuable mem uh, group in our society. I've been an atheist for many years, and I feel that by encouraging and mandating a prayer at meetings, the mayor is trampling on my rights as a citizen of the United States. Before we were in college, I served uh, six years in the United States Army in the infantry branch, and eventually re uh, reached the rank of staff sergeant and the position of a platoon sergeant. I've been to Iraq twice and worked to defend this, uh, this country in, uh, at every opportunity. The ideas behind why we were in Iraq never entered my mind because I had a job to do as a soldier. In the same way, uh, excuse me, uh, I had an obligation to my subordinates and my fellow soldiers to keep them safe, to look out for their welfare. In the same way, you, Mayor Knight, have an obligation to the great citizens of the city, an obligation to ensure that no one is discriminated against, an obligation to conduct inclusive city council meetings, regardless of the citizens' faith or lack thereof. You, sir, have an obligation to citizens like myself who have done everything in their power to help defend this great country. I would also like the mayor and the city council to know that I'm respecting them because I have not organized all members of my organization to come and speak. Tonight, I will be the only one speaking on behalf of my organization. In the future, I have encouraged only one person to speak at every council meeting. I do not want to monopolize the time of this forum and drown out the voices of the rest of the community. I would like to conclude by reiterating, what is wrong with a moment of silence where all people with and without faith can collect their thoughts and pray if they choose. A moment of silence allows everyone to be respected, and there was nothing wrong with this event where everyone in the city can take part in. I asked the mayor to reconsider his policy, and the city council to urge the mayor in public and in private to change this policy because it is the right thing to do. Thank you very much.